What's up you guys? Sean and Aaron from Core Pilates. Playing with a new piece of equipment today. Brand new piece of equipment called the Axios Core, or Axios for sure. Created by a uh, USA Rugby International called Brian Doyle. We've been very fortunate to get our hands on one of these and we've been road testing it for about a month. Um, there is a Kickstarter campaign going on right now if you want to buy one of these guys at home. But as you will see, you can use it to replace a lot of common pieces of, uh, of fitness equipment you might have at home or find in the gym. Indo board, balance trainer, TRX suspension trainer. Um, it's going to challenge you in a variety of different ways. But if you don't have one at home, I'm going to give you a few ideas of how you can do these same exercises as Aaron works on pieces of, of household equipment that you might find, such as paper plates. So, 30 seconds per exercise, four exercises is one set, followed by a 30 second rest. We're going to start with inverted pikes, fairly common exercise on a suspension trainer, but you could also do these with your toes on paper plates and the paper plates resting on the carpet. Here we go. Erin's basically lifting with a core. The common mistake is because you've got that tactile response, your feet are gripping the trainer, you want to pull with the feet and legs. Imagine somebody's got their fingertip in your belly button and they're lifting you on that fingertip. Erin's hands are turned slightly out to 10 and 2. She's then screwing the palms of her hands into the floor and spreading her fingers to take some of the strain off of her shoulders. Nice and slow and controlled. She's now going to flip the axis over, use it as a balance board essentially. Now, the axis does come with a little ring it can sit on, which makes this a little bit easier. Erin's going hardcore, she's not using that ring. Obviously, it's a bodyweight squat. So if you're at home, do traditional bodyweight squats. If you want to challenge yourself, you could put one foot on the stairs so you're off balance, off set, and you could alternate the leg that's on the bottom stair each time to obviously give you a little bit more of a balance and stability challenge. We're going from there to what are more affectionately known as atomic push-ups. We call them the press tuck on the, uh, on the core, but it's a nice deep push-up, and then Erin's tucking those knees all the way basically to her elbows and back out again. She's not stopping when those knees are just underneath the hips. The core actually does weight. It does have weight to it. It's a functional weight plate. So I would recommend, obviously, if you have access to a sandbag or sand bell, place that on the floor and pull the sandbag or sand bell on this one. If you don't, again, use those paper plates. Last exercise, basically a thruster to the CrossFit crowd. We're using that functional weight plate. Erin's getting down nice and deep, elbows to knees. She's driving up overhead and she's engaging her core the entire time she does it. Just showing you a few ways that you could use this gadget if you do pick one up, but obviously providing you substitutes. At home, again, any weighted object works. Dumbbells even in the hands will get the job done. Nice work, Erin. So, same challenge as I set on the previous classic format. Three sets, beginner, five sets intermediate, seven sets if you're slightly crazy. Good work. Thank you.